have to hate to have to be the bearer of bad news, but the United States government is already in your computer. It's already in your program. There is no freedoms like you think. They're already inside our electronics. These new TVs with the hard drives they build on them. They're already in our homes. How many TVs are hooked up to cable? How many computers are hooked directly to the internet with webcams on them? So, you look at the big picture. They're already in your homes. When you're, when you're done using your webcam, unplug it. So, they're in here already. You ever uh, use Windows, uh, the Windows Internet Explorer? They're already in your computer. Notice how you get those pop-ups on Windows, Internet Explorer, you got spyware, blah, 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 blah. You ever notice that? Whenever you use it for no apparent reason at all, you got spyware. You ever notice how your computer updates itself at night when you let it update itself and you just leave it running? See, it's called Windows for a reason. What do you do? You look into a window and you look out of it. Government has been in your back pocket since they gave you that slave identification number. They've been in your brain ever since they sent you to the public schools. They sent you to a uh, clinic. They're inside your body. You're on Medi-Cal, you go to these clinics where they send the third-rate medicines and shit. Our government controls us in ways that you will never understand from now to the end of time. Until we become part of the government in order to change the government, the government will be in us. That's all I gotta say. I'm just doing these rant videos. Too many of them today, but um, they're already in your computer. So don't even trip. They say if you have nothing to hide, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Perception is one thing. To, to think that someone may search your hard drive to see if you have any songs on there that you didn't pay for. How they know you didn't pay for them? You could have just transferred from the old computer into your new one. They don't know. Now, you're going to start downloading stuff with expiration dates on it. Files that uh, disappear after three months or two months. These are on the way. These things are about to happen. It's bad enough that you pay $215 for an operating system and you can only put it in one computer. How logical is that? That's where greed kicks in. We pay for the program. How come you can't use it on many computers you want to? Think about it. They just don't want people out there loading up computers constantly and selling them with their software. Because as soon as you get online with some software that's been used in more than one computer, they're alerted. Period. I had my computer fixed. Uh, the one I have out in the garage, I had it fixed. And... I plugged it up, everything worked. Everything worked fine, beautiful. A couple months later, their software is illegal software. My whole computer locked up. All my files locked. All my music locked. I lost all my music that had nothing to do with the operating system. You understand what you do you understand what I'm getting at? My whole computer was ruined. Because I let the shop fix it, and they use the same program on 15 million different other computers, and that's it. I lost all my information because I had to redo the whole computer. Didn't have the original disk to put back in there. I got my computer started, fixed. I broke my disk a long time ago. So they're already in our computers. You know, I was online the other day, and the computer had to shut itself down to do something. You ever wonder where all your memory going? 
Every time Microsoft updates, shit. What is a 135 gig hard drive anymore? Nothing. When each update is damn near a gig. Well, you know what I mean. I gotta get out of here. I'm tired of this stuff. You've been too.